my radishes are extremely leggy and I think I'm going to try and prick them out and then put them back in again. I need a pen. All right, I'm back. Okay, I may have to abandon this because I'm, I'm thinking now that if I uproot this and damage the root system and then try and put it back in, then my, my, my radishes are done. And this is what I mean. Um, this part here, I think, should be a lot closer to the ground. What does it mean? When the sound of your voice turns to sparkling noise in my ear. Yeah, I'm just not sure if it's worth doing that with all of them or if I uh, indecision. Indecision, indecision. Right. Clearly the um radishes and the spinach are extremely leggy. The onions are okay. The green onions are okay, right? I think I might just let them be leggy, right? Just leave them alone, let them grow at a weird angle, and hopefully I'll still get something. How many inches would I say? This is like two inches depth. Maybe next time I'll use a different um, pot to grow radishes in, something with, with you know, greater depth. You know, not even a lot, like something like this I think would do, right? This, I think this pot would be good to grow radishes in, yeah, in right? Just to settle it in. You know, since I kind of, you know, moved it around a little bit. Alright, so, a bit of water for that radish. I think what I've learned from this now is that um, the depth of the container is something that I need to pay attention to. enjoying my windowsill garden you who you light up my life the man I'm on. Man I'm on. you light up my life yes you light